This is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today, once again, I am going to be taking a look at another 2021 release, this time from one of the most celebrated, decorated and respected bass players of all time. And when you talk about the top bass players in the world, obviously you have your Stanley Clarks, you have your John Patatouches, you have your Brian Bombergs, you have your Jacob Astorises and your Gary Peacocks and Dave Hollins to name a few. But there's been one bass player who's been around for a really long time and he's carved out a reputation as perhaps one of the most solid, reliable and complete bass players of all time. And in my opinion, he's one of the true legends of the instrument. And the gentleman I'm talking about is, of course, the one and only Mark Johnson. And since bursting onto the scene in the late 70s, Mark Johnson has seen it all, done it all, collaborated and played with just about everyone. From the One O'Clock Lab Band, to Bill Evans, to the Wright Brain Patrol, to John Abercrombie, who he was a member of his legendary trio as one half of the rhythm section with drummer Peter Erskine. John Schofield, Bill Frisell, Pat Smithini, Steps Ahead, Charles Lloyd, Toots Tillmanson, Stan Getz, Woody Herman, Paul Motion, Chet Baker, Joe Lovano, Michael Brecker, Bob Brookmayer, Gary Burton, Philly Joan Jones, you name it, he's played with just about everyone and he's one half of a husband and wife duo collaboration with pianist Elian Elias, who he has been playing and collaborating with for close to nearly 30 years. And of course, Mark Johnson has released a number of albums under his name as a band leader, most notably his two albums back to back with his band Bass Desires with guitarists Bill Frisell, John Schofield and drummer Peter Erskine. And Mark Johnson joins an elite group of musicians who have recorded and released solo bass albums for ECM. Guys like Dave Holland, Gary Peacock, Miroslav Vicious, and just recently Larry Grenadier. And this is his latest album for ECM Records, a solo bass recording, Overpass. So as I mentioned, this is a solo bass recording with very little overdubs. Everything is all performed live. And as you'd expect from a guy the caliber of Mark Johnson, nothing but world-class musicianship. And although the album is relatively short, Mark Johnson packs a lot in such a small package and he absolutely delivers the goods as you'd expect. So we're just gonna have a quick look. And I highly recommend this album for guys who are fans of solo bass recordings. So there is the man himself. And some more there. So all of the compositions are written and composed by Mark Johnson, with the exception of three standards, one by Eddie Harris, one by Miles Davis, and one by Alex North. And I'm a huge fan of the bass, always have been, and you know, I'm a huge fan of solo bass recordings, and this is some excellent playing from Mark Johnson. So we got Freedom Jazz Dance, Nardis, Samurai Fly, which is basically a reworking of his bass desires composition, Samurai Hee Haw, and Mark Johnson delivers bowed bass lines, which is also known as the Arco Melody, and it just sounds absolutely gorgeous. And we've got the love theme from Spartacus, Life of Pi, and Strike Each Tuneful String, Yin and Yang, Hall Led, Were Led World. So a beautiful album, great playing from Mark Johnson, and no dull moment whatsoever. And as you'd expect, world class musicianship. So there you have it, Mark Johnson, Overpass. So the standout tracks for me, I would say, are Freedom Jazz Dance, Nardis, Samurai Fly, Life of Pi, Yin and Yang, Hall Led, Were Led World. But this is one of those albums, you just got to really listen to it all the way through to fully appreciate solo bass recordings. Because I know some people probably might not be too keen on just listening to acoustic bass only, but 
me personally, I just absolutely love it because there's an intimacy when you hear just the acoustic bass because it's only one guy the instrument is up front and you just get some very interesting improvisation with the acoustic bass and as i said a number of guys have done this over the years dave holland miroslav vitches larry grenadier and gary peacock to name a few who have done this and also of course the man who pretty much started this trend back in the 60s is of course bar phillips so as i said mark johnson joins that little elite group on ECM who have recorded solo bass albums and for me this is one of the top albums of 2021 is it album of the year maybe time will tell really this year is not over yet but definitely put this up there as one of the best albums of 2021 in my opinion so there you have it Mark Johnson overpass his latest recording for ECM records so that's going to be it for me. I am going to wrap this up now. What's your favourite track from Mark Johnson Overpass? Is it Freedom Jazz Dance? Is it Nardis? Samurai Fly? Love Theme from Spartacus? Life of Pi? And Strike Each Tuneful String? Yin and Yang? Or is it Horled Whirled World? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite tracks. You know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until next time, take care everybody and stay safe. And once again, thanks for listening.